ever been a better time to create photo and video content than today. Smartphones offer up some incredible image quality and they deserve a proper companion for your photo and video adventures. This is Smooth 4, a product born for mobile filmmakers. Smooth 4 is a radical new innovation from Zhiyun that enables you to swiftly access your phone's camera settings at the push of a button, but more importantly, it provides some exciting new ways of capturing and even editing your footage together that's both easy and impressive. Hi everyone, I'm Brett from InfoSmercial. One of the first things you're likely to notice about Smooth 4 is this control dial. This control dial lets you zoom in and out of your footage and control your focus manually. But it also enables one of the coolest new features of Smooth 4, vertigo. The vertigo shot has famously been used in Hollywood as a way of adding an unforgettable moment to your film. And now you can access this same Hollywood level effect on your mobile phone wherever you go. Vertigo is achieved by either zooming out while moving forward or zooming in while moving backwards. Both achieve a different effect, but leave a long lasting impact. If you want a smooth and automated control over the vertigo effect, you can just use the ZY Play app's vertigo option. One of my personal favorite features. Now setting up a vertigo shot is dead easy. Start by using the dial to set where you want to start your zoom. Click the center control button to add the waypoint. Then use the dial to set where you want the zoom to end. Set your duration, and we'll stick with about five seconds here, which should be pretty smooth. And then save the motion. It's that easy. And since Vertigo works with motion memory, we can quickly play back this camera movement anytime we want. Vertigo is an incredible tool to have at your filmmaking disposal, capable of wowing anybody who sees it. And that's just one of the many features of Smooth 4, empowering you to create amazing content like never before. Smooth 4 breaks the mold in some intuitive new ways when it comes to controlling a gimbal. Take for instance entering standby mode. That's just as easy as rotating the gimbal arm into the locked position. Take it out of the locked position and Smooth 4 starts right back up. Here on the front, we'll see switches that offer a clear way of quickly entering pan following mode or locked mode. On the back of Smooth 4, you'll find two trigger buttons. Pressing and holding the bottom trigger button enters full following mode, giving you access to tilt movements. Smooth 4 will even remember your position when you let go of the trigger. When you're done, just double tap the bottom trigger twice and Smooth 4 will reset its position. Hey, pretty cool. The trigger on the top is a whole different animal and offers some incredible video editing possibilities. Pressing the top trigger enables Phone Go mode, a mode in which the responsiveness of Smooth 4 is drastically increased. Using Phone Go, you can create some incredible in-camera scene transitions. This is a pan transition. <laughs> no way! Now this is a tilt transition. Whoa! Yeah! Then there's the pointy transition. Hmm, I'll go with a Diet Coke, trying to watch my figure. And then of course there is the itchy transition. Ah, there we go. Back where we started. Using the trigger buttons offer a really intuitive way of controlling your gimbal. Just point and shoot, it's that easy. Not only that, Phone Go mode offers some really intriguing possibilities when you go to edit your videos together. And it's never been easier to be creative with your mobile phone than it is with Smooth 4. PhoneGo and Vertigo offer up a whole number of exciting new creative possibilities for you. But that's only the beginning with Smooth 4. The ZY Play app also offers up an incredible number of really cool shooting modes. All of these automatic modes allow you to freely explore your creativity. Now lastly, but perhaps most importantly, is the hardware interface of Smooth 4. The whole purpose of this interface is to free you from your phone and giving you instant and tactile feedback for all of your phone's camera settings. 
In a future video, we'll dive more into the hardware controls of Smooth 4 and how you can make the most out of your photos and videos. See you guys in the next one. Once upon a time, there was a filmmaker dreaming of a perfect gimbal. The Moza Air Cross 2. Light as a feather, with a payload of over 3 kilograms, allowing to handle heavier cameras for serious cinematic videos. A gimbal that supports both horizontal and vertical filming. The smart wheel allows you to take full control over your lens. The new Advanced Inception Mode 3.0 gives you a more precise rotation, even with bulky setups. For more unique shots, connect the gimbal to the Slypod. Unleash your creativity with the FPV mode. Twelve hour battery life can now be recharged within just one hour. Or you can even charge the Aircross 2 on the go with a power bank. Hello and welcome to this quick start video on the Benro X-Series 3XS Stabilizer. In this series of videos, you will learn the basic principles to get your 3XS up and running. We will walk you through properly mounting and balancing your phone and using the Benro app for capturing photos, video, and using its advanced features. Balancing your 3XS is one of the most crucial parts to getting a great end result. Out of the box, your 3XS will likely be unbalanced for your smartphone. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to get your gimbal balanced and ready to shoot with. After unpacking your gimbal, the 3XS will start in the folded and locked position. Unlock the gimbal arm by pressing in the push button and lifting the arm. This also unlocks the gimbal's pan axis. Once unfolded, the other two motors need to be unlocked. Do this by gently rotating the remaining two axes in the direction indicated. You can attach a tripod to the bottom thread for more stability when balancing. The weight distribution of your phone factors heavily into the performance of the gimbal. If your phone is not properly balanced, it may inhibit the functions of your gimbal. Make sure that your phone is not in an overly large case or it may not fit into the phone clamp. Extend the clamp by placing your phone against the upper ridge, pushing up, at the same time pulling down on the lower clamp. This will lodge your phone between the bars. Once the phone is securely in the clamp, place the gimbal on a level surface and move the phone back and forth horizontally until the phone sits level without assistance. Now you're ready to turn on the gimbal. Press the power switch up and to the left. To provide power to your phone, Connect the cable from the USB-C port on the 3XS to your phone. Or, the 3XS can wirelessly charge compatible phones by activating the feature in the app. If you use the cable to charge your phone during use, you will need to adjust your phone's balance once again. Just slide it a little to the left and get it back into balance. Congratulations, your gimbal is now balanced. Don't forget to download the companion app to calibrate your gimbal download the latest firmware, and access features that will take your video and photo skills to the next level. In the next video of this series, you'll learn these functions in depth. Boost the production value and quality of your videos, all while traveling light and compact with the Benro 3XS Stabilizer. Featuring a foldable, integrated design, DJI RSC2 can be switched easily between briefcase, portrait, and storage modes. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use briefcase, portrait, and storage modes with DJI RSC2. Thanks to the foldable design, you can quickly enable a range of operation modes and store it with greater convenience. Before getting started, make sure you have already watched the DJI RSC2 balancing tutorial and have installed the gimbal on the extended grip tripod and performed gimbal balancing. Power on DJI RSC2 
turn the lock knob counterclockwise to loosen it. Hold the grip firmly and tilt the gimbal down 90 degrees. Then tighten the lock knob. Hold the grip horizontally. Press the trigger twice and DJI RSC2 will enter briefcase mode and is ready for low angle shooting. Hold the gimbal upright and press the M button twice to switch to portrait mode. Repeat to exit. After shooting, power off the gimbal. Detach the camera together with the lower quick release plate. Rotate the gimbal to storage position and lock each axis. Remove the extended grip tripod and DJI RSC2 can now be easily stored. Introducing the new Moza Mini S, a flexible smartphone gimbal packed with many features. With the new foldable design, you can sustain a steady and secure stabilized video wherever you are. You can use the shutter button to take instant photos. The Moza Mini S is quick to balance and ready to shoot in any time, anywhere. The reachable switch knob allows you to transition from landscape to portrait mode in less than a second. <laughs> With just one click, you can also access the signature inception mode. With the Moza Genie app, the tracking has never been so simple. The auto tracking feature in the Moza Genie will take care of your frame no matter where you move. The control keys allow you to zoom in or out on the subject and helps your shot consistently stay in focus. You can also make cool vertigo effects. The advanced modes for your time lapse and motion lapse make everything so much easier. The new Moza Mini S allows you to film an excellent stabilized video just as you imagined it. This is DJI's new OM5 smartphone gimbal, which is really taking portability to a brand new level here. And when this thing is unfolded, it reveals some pretty awesome new features. Let's take a look. So the DJI OM5 is a three axis smartphone gimbal and that means that you can get incredibly smooth video even while walking or running, but this can also capture just amazing cinematic shots It would be almost impossible to get without a gimbal. And just look how compact this thing is. It's actually one third smaller than the previous generation OM4 from DJI and when I show you the features that are packed into this, it's going to get even more impressive. Now in order to keep things this compact, DJI is actually using this pretty incredible folding design and it does have some magnetic assist in there in order to keep things incredibly easy to use plus there is also a magnetic assist right on the back so you can remove your phone take a phone call text message or just use it for some handheld photo shooting and then when you want to go attach it right back on there you can do it in seconds there's no extra balancing or calibration needed now probably the most incredible new feature is that built into this is an extension arm which turned out to be way more useful than I first thought. So first of all, if you're not using it, the best part is that you can absolutely collapse this and you'll never even know it exists. But also there's this really useful tilt mechanism inside of it for shooting at different angles. But yes, the first thing I thought about was self-shooting and group shots and absolutely this is incredible for that. So if you're vlogging or just want to get shots with a bunch of other people in it, this is going to be exceptional for that. However, it was also really good for getting shots high above other objects or people. So if you're in crowds and you want to get a shot over them or for getting shots low to the ground, that would be almost impossible to get without an extension arm. The OM5 gimbal also has active track 4.0, a feature I use all the time on my DJI drones, but it tracks the object inside of your frame. So whether I wanted the gimbal to track myself while I was moving around the frame or to track other objects as I circled around them, 
Active Track 4.0 does it effortlessly. The OM5 also has this new Shot Guides feature, which is a first for the industry, and it can automatically recognize a user's environment and recommend a shot sequence to better fit this subject. You also have templates for shots including people, pets, landscapes, daily life, sports, weddings, and so much more. It can also simplify the filming and editing process with recommended templates to use. And it's so incredibly easy to just go from shooting, editing, straight to sharing. There are also a bunch of extra features, including the ability to set the gimbal to automatically record panoramic images or even full motion time lapses with the included app. So with three axis video stabilization, a ton of new features, an app with built-in shot guides and all of that in a device that is this compact and fits in the palm of your hand, Plus, you get that built-in extension rod. The DJI OM5 is really that one-stop tool for taking your smartphone gimbal to the next level.